Prague, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Magic Golden Prague, the city of a hundred spires, the heart of Europe, a symbol of rich tradition of culture and education. Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, home to a million people and a member state of the European Union since May 1st, 2004. The Latin saying locus regit actum, place governs action, is perfectly true to Prague. Since time immemorial, it has been the crossroads of Europe thanks to the location and has experienced tides of artistic styles and mixing spiritual streams. One example of how different styles of architecture face each other is in Old Town Square with the medieval Gothic Ten Church, Baroque St. Nicholas Church and synagogues in the nearby lanes of Jewish Town, where one of the oldest Jewish cemeteries can be seen. Carolinum, the seat of Charles University, the oldest university building in Central Europe. It bears the name of the university's founder, Charles IV, the Holy Roman Emperor and the King of Bohemia. It was constituted by the Royal Charter of April 7, 1348, which is one of the treasures of the university. From the very beginning, Charles University was composed of four faculties. Faculty of Arts, nowadays Arts and Philosophy, Law, theology, and medicine. The image of the pelican feeding the nestlings with its own blood is the crest of the first faculty of medicine, a symbol of self-sacrifice associated with the medical profession. The faculty has its own ceremony insignia as well. The first faculty of medicine is the biggest medical faculty in the Czech Republic and the most productive in biomedical research. It was the first Czech medical faculty to obtain the certificate of the U.S. Department of Education for Medical Training Programs, and in 1992, it started teaching medicine and dentistry in the English language as well. Throughout the European Union, the diplomas of Charles University are fully recognized and the faculty is listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools by the WHO. The solemn matriculation ceremony is public reflection of gaining the rights and accepting the duties of the student of Charles University. The faculty educates future doctors and dentists as well as other healthcare professionals. The course of university studies in general medicine takes six years, in dentistry five years, and in bachelor degree programs three years. Postgraduate study programs usually take four years. The faculty comprises nearly 70 scientific, educational, and clinical institutions. There are more than 3,500 students and more than 1,500 members of the scientific and teaching academic staff. The admission procedure includes tests to check the student's knowledge in chemistry, physics, and biology. These tests are anonymous and are evaluated by computer. The score is the only criterion for admission. First year students meet at the camp before they start studying. This gives them a chance to learn about their study obligations, meet their prospective teachers, and play sports with their new colleagues. The Institute of Scientific Information with its modern equipment provides the comprehensive information service for the students, academic staff, and collaborating institutions. At the time, the number of registered users is nearly 6,000. The first years of training are devoted to the study of theoretical and preclinical subjects. Core subjects include, for example, anatomy. Students gain a substantial part of their knowledge from lectures, but the most important thing is the experience that comes from immediate contact, allowing them to check on their knowledge by sight and touch. 
training in theoretical subjects is also focused on practical experience and skills gained in labs and covering the whole scope of medical chemistry, biochemistry, and molecular biology. Theoretical and preclinical subjects in the first three years provide the students with all the central knowledge needed to understand how the organism, healthy or ill, works. This is also done at the Institute of Physiology, whose founder and first head was the famous physiologist Jan Evangelista Forkenia. The building bearing Porcania's name houses those fields of science that he most contributed to biology, histology, embryology, and pharmacology. Since his time there, a lot has changed. Above all, biology, nowadays, mainly focuses on training in genetics and overall genetic care of patients. The Halava building, named after the prominent pathologist Professor Halava, is the seat of the Institute of Pathology and Institute of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As part of their education, the students take practical training in microscopy and dissection. The largest training base for the first faculty of medicine is the General Teaching Hospital. At its modern clinical workplaces, the students get their first practical experience. The General Teaching Hospital, however, has been in operation for more than 200 years. At medical departments, the training is focused on specialized fields, hematology, cardiology and angiology, endocrinology and metabolism, or gastroenterology and intensive care. Much attention is paid to individualized teaching in small groups. Students can learn about all necessary technology used for invasive or non-invasive diagnosis about inpatient care as well as everyday operations of specialized outpatient facilities. In surgical departments, the students learn about diagnosis of surgical conditions and treatments of surgical patients. In operating theaters, they have the opportunity to assist in operations or observe particular surgical techniques with live commentary by the operating surgeon. Many buildings where the faculty's workplaces are found contribute to the unique architecture of the city. Much appreciated for its architecture is, in particular, the former province maternity hospital, now the Department of Gynecology and Obstetrics. It was built between 1865 and 1875 by the prominent Czech architect and supporter of arts and science, Josef Alavka, who also built the famous opera house in Vienna. The operating theaters are equipped with modern technology. From the lecture rooms, the students can observe the operations online. Recently, more than 4,700